Welcome to Twisting Fitness. I'm Jess, and today I'll be guiding us through a chakra yoga practice for all levels, focusing on balancing our sacral chakra, including yoga postures to revitalize our pelvis, will strengthen and mobilize our lower abdomen, low back, and hip areas, exploring fluid movement, aligning breath, body, and mind, empowering us to feel more creative, balanced, joyful, and passionate. Let's go ahead and start out in child's pose on our mat. Come to child's pose with your knees wide on the edge of the mat and your arms reaching forward with your hips back over your heels. And let's begin to tune into our breath and also bring awareness to our pelvis. Start to observe any sensations in the lower abdomen, the low back, or the hips. At any point, if you'd like to activate your ujjayi breath, gently constricting your back, the back of your throat, sounding like an ocean wave, I invite you to do so. And our affirmation for today's practice is, I feel creative, balanced, joyful, and passionate for, the, for what life will bring. Let's inhale. And let's walk our hands over to the right side, pressing into that left side of the body and shoulder. Feeling it down into the low back. Inhale, let's walk our hands over to the left side. Pressing into that right side. Feeling it all the way down into the low back and hip area. Inhale, the arms back to center. Bring the knees in slightly under the hips. Spread the fingers. And we're going to arch. Inhale, now tuck the toes. And lift the hips into your down dog. Pausing just a second. Rise up onto the toes. Coming through. Lowering back down to our knees. So let's do a few of those. Arch, inhale, big breath. Lift the head, lift the tail. Press yourself into down dog. Rise up on the toes, round forward, lower down slowly. Inhale, arch. Exhale, lift into your down dog. Round up, come through, all fours. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, press yourself back, rise up onto the toes, and exhale, come back in. Last one, inhale, arch, lift the hips, press your hips back into your downward facing dog, stay here. You can start pedaling out the heels. If you'd like to, starting to get some movement into the lower leg. Taking the heels down each step. Now inhale, look forward, and we're gonna flat foot, walk towards the front of the mat. Take the feet under the hips and grab the elbows and hang, ragdoll. Relax your neck. Maybe sway side to side. Maybe bending one knee at a time. 
or keeping both knees bent. Honor your body. Now bend your knees and gently, slowly roll your way up into standing. Sweep the arms overhead, inhale, and exhale your hands into heart center. Inhale, sweep those arms up, gaze to the thumbs and swan dive forward, hinging at the hips, drop the head, gaze behind you. Inhale, lift to lengthen. Now shift over slightly to the left and pick up the right leg. Circle that ankle. And lower down that right knee. Sweep your arms up into your low lunge. Big inhale. And exhale, take the left hand to the hip or over to your mat and reach through the right fingertips. Let's circle that wrist. Hands come down, exhale, step into your high plank. Shift forward, slowly make your way down to the mat. Hug the elbows in. Inhale those arms long, lift the legs. And exhale, draw those elbows back into your cobra. Tuck the toes, pick up the hips and press yourself into your downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward with the right knee. Drop the left knee, sweep the arms up. Inhale. Now exhale the right hand to the hip or to the ground. Reach through the left fingertips. Now make a fist and circle the left wrist. Lower the hands, drop the head, pick up the left leg and circle the ankle. Inhale, lengthen, lift, extend the spine, and exhale, fold, release your neck. Shake it out, possibly. Shift over to the right side. Pick up the left leg, circle that ankle once again. Reversing what we just did, lower the left knee down. Sweep your arms up, inhale belly in. Now exhale, right hand to the hip or to the ground. Reach through the left hand. Lower the left hand down. Exhale. Step back to your high plank and shift forward. Exhale down to your mat nice and slow. Inhale those arms forward. Extend everything. Lift. And exhale the hands down, draw the elbows back into your cobra. And tuck your toes, press yourself into your downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward with the left leg. Drop the right knee, sweep your arms up, overhead. Belly in, chest lifting, arms active. Drop the left hand to the waist or to the floor. Reach through the right hand. Lower the right hand and lift the left our right leg. Circle that ankle. Exhale that right leg down and fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Press on the hands, extend the spine. Now bend the knees and roll your way up into stand. Sweep the arms overhead and swan dive forward, drop the head. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back to your high plank, belly in. Shift forward, hug those elbows in. Exhale, chaturanga halfway, tuck your toes. Inhale, knees up or down, upward facing dog. Press those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale into your downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here before we start our flow. Maybe checking back in with our affirmation here. I feel creative, balanced, joyful, and passionate for what life will bring. 
Inhale, that right leg up, flex the foot. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step the right foot, keep the left heel lifted. Sweep your arms up into your high lunge. Belly in, chest up. Inhale, now exhale, drop the right hand to the back leg. Sweep the left arm up. Look back. Inhale, take those elbows out to 90 degrees, cactus the arms. Inhale, open your knees, shift into your goddess pose. Elbows strong and lifted, now rise up. If you want a little challenge, up onto the toes or keep the feet flat. Breathe here. Now lower the forearms to the knees and press the knees wide. Maybe rock a little bit here. Now shift over to the left side. Skandasana, lower down nice and slow. You can use the hands. Now take the left hand to the inner left ankle and spin the right arm up. Reach, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, we can take that hand behind our back if you want to take a bind. Clasp the hands on the outer left hip, gazing up. Keep the right toes and knee active, facing upward. Keep breathing. Release your bind. Shift forward. Take the right elbow to the right knee or take the fingertips down to your side angle. Sweep the left arm overhead. Come on up. Inhale to your warrior, warrior two. Bending that front knee to 90 degrees and sending the arms long. Collarbones lengthening away from each other and make sure your weight is centered. And we'll do that little mini set one more time. Shift the back heel up, come into your high lunge, sit lower, inhale. Exhale, drop the right hand to the back leg, reach through the left arm. Inhale, bring the elbows out to 90 degrees. And shift into your goddess pose, sit low. Option to come up onto the toes. Now lower. Forearms on top, on top of the legs, press the knees wide, maybe rock. Now shift over to the left, skandasana. Slowly make your way down. Hold here, or you could stay in this skandasana or drop the hip down to deepen and revolve. Take the right hand to the lower shin and the left hand overhead. Reaching towards the foot, you don't have to grab the foot. Still an effective stretch, just taking that elbow up and shining the heart through. Reaching towards the toes. Now use that left knee to pull yourself forward. Come on back up, shift forward. Maybe slide that right leg back a little bit. We're coming into our half moon, so Tint the right fingers or use a block if you need a block here and pick up that left leg, flex the foot, take the hand to the waist, stacking the hips or send that left arm up, gazing towards the hand. Shift back to your warrior to Virabhadrasana two. Gazing over the front hand, bending the front knee, drawing the belly in, slightly tucking the hips. Cartwheel the arms down to the mat. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, shift over to the side plank. Send the right arm and leg up, nice and strong. Inhale, exhale, inhale. You can always leave that top leg down. Exhale, inhale. Now send that right leg forward opposite the left hand. Hands press down, 
Coming into your lizard pose, lift the chest, drop the hip. You can come down onto the forearms here if you like. Inhale, straighten those elbows, and let's straighten that right knee as well, getting into the hamstring. Now press through the hands and extend that through the right toes. Extend that right knee. Now press and lift, drawing that, that knee towards the nose. Inhale. Now exhale, lower the shin down, coming into our pigeon. Inhale, lift. Exhale, gently roll your way down, taking the forehead onto the forearms, taking a deep breath here. Now inhale, bring that right shoulder through, revolving our pigeon, taking the right hand to the left shoulder. You can take that left hand over the back. Take a big breath here. Inhale. Come back to center. Now exhale. We're going to take the left shoulder, bring it through, revolving the other way. Taking the left hand on to the right shoulder and taking the right hand around the back, hooking the big toe. Allow your head to gently rest down on the mat. Inhale, come on up, turn, open into your half butterfly, send the arms up, inhale. Now exhale, come down onto the elbows, or you could take it deeper, pressing into that right hip, keeping the, the bottom down as much as you can. Now inhale. Extend those right, that right hand and reach through the left fingertips all the way down through the left toes. Modified plank, inhale. Now exhale, release that right hand and send the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, inhale, come on up. And exhale into your gate pose. Send that right arm nice and high, gazing towards the hand. Now gently lower your way down, taking the left hand under the right shin and taking the right arm overhead, revolving our head to knee pose. Now inhale, come on up. Without using your arms, if you can, come up onto that right knee, extend, hold here. Big inhale. And exhale, press the hands into the mat. Take knee to nose. Inhale, shift forward, pick up the back leg. Lift and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale into your downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Maybe check back in with our affirmation. Feel creative, balanced, joyful, and passionate for all life brings. You can always rest in child's pose if you need to. Steady your breath. Inhale that left leg up. Flex the foot, square the hips. Now bend the knees, stack them. Keep the shoulders square. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step forward with the left foot. Keep the back heel lifted. Sweep the arms into your high lunge. Lifting through the chest, draw the belly in. Pull that left hip back as well. Square the hips, inhale. 
Now exhale the left hand to the back leg, reach through the right fingertips. Inhale, bring those arms up to cactus. Inhale, now exhale, shift the knees open into your goddess pose. Option to rise up onto the toes. Inhale. Now exhale, take the elbows down to the knees, press the knees wide. Shift over to the right leg, Skandasana. Slowly come down, extending the left leg. You can use your hands for support. <clears throat> now take the right hand to the right ankle and spin the left arm up. Stay here or take the left hand behind the back, binding the hands around the right hip. Now shift forward, taking the left elbow to the left knee or taking the fingertips down to the mat, sweeping the right arm overhead for our side ankle pose. Belly in, strong legs. Hips gently tucked. Inhale up to your warrior two. Reach through the arms. Bend that front knee 90 degrees, draw the belly in, hips gently tucked. One more time, that mini sequence. Pick up the back heel, high lunge, inhale. Exhale, drop the left hand to the back leg, reach through the right fingertips. Inhale, the elbows out. Cactus the arms, open the knees into goddess pose. Sit low, option to rise up on your toes. Lower down, elbows to the knees, press the knees wide. And begin to shift over to the right side, lowering into our skandhasana. Lengthening the inner thigh on the left, opening the hip on the right. Now you could always take that bind or reach the left arm up, or we can take a different variation here, revolving our malasana. Taking the left hand to the right shin and reaching the right arm overhead, keeping the heart shining through, elbow pointing up, or reaching towards the foot. Just keep that knee extending out. Now shift forward, keep a hold of that right ankle, pull yourself back up, and come into your half moon. So slide back if you need to. Take the left hand down to the mat, right hand to the waist, and begin shifting the back leg up, flexing the foot, stacking your hips. You can always use a block here if you need to for support, extension of the floor. Now inhale that right arm up if you feel stable. Gaze into the hand. And begin bending the left knee, lowering the right leg down into your warrior two. Extend the arms. Bend the front knee deep. Cartwheel the arms down to the mat. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, shift to your side plank. You can take that left leg down or send the, the left arm and leg up nice and strong. Now begin to send that left leg out across from the right foot. Hands come on the inside of that left foot. Back knee is lifted. And we're pressing into our lizard pose, lifting the chest. Deepening into the hips, opening and releasing. 
If you wanna take it a little deeper, come down onto the elbows for a couple breaths. Really working into the hip flexor on the right and the hip and low back on the left. Inhale, bring the hands back up to the mat. Now we'll extend that left leg, getting into the hamstring, maybe flexing through the toes. Now press the mat and take that knee to your nose, hover, inhale. And exhale, lower down into your pigeon. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, nice and slow, come onto your forearms. Drop the head, take a big breath here. And inhale. We'll take the left shoulder through. Facing the right side, take the right hand over the back. Relax the head down, take a big breath here. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, let's drop the right shoulder down, twisting towards the left. Take the left hand over your back towards the big toe. Hook the big toe if you can. No worries if not, let your, let your head relax down. Take a nice big breath here. And inhale. Come on up, open towards the right side into your half butterfly. Extend the arms up, inhale and exhale. Come forward onto the elbows. Try to keep the hips down or take the forehead down. Inhale, take the left hand out beside the left knee and reach your body long, one long line from fingertips to toes. Now inhale, extend both arms. Use your strength. Inhale, come on up. Gate pose, stretching towards the right side. Now gently lower the hips down. Take the right hand under the lower left leg and reach the left arm overhead. Inhale, shift back onto that left knee and lift yourself up, hold the chest open, inhale. And exhale, press the hands into the mat, take knee to nose. Inhale, send the back leg high, shift forward, look forward, draw the belly in, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Rise up onto the toes, bend the knees, and step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Shake out the neck. Now bring the hands and interlace the fingers at the base of the spine. Bend the left knee and look to the right. Inhale, center. Bend the right knee and look to the left. Back to center, bend the knees, round your way up. Inhale, draw the belly in, take a little back bend. Inhale, and exhale, fold it forward. Bring your hands down to the mat. Rise up onto the toes. Take the knees to the backs of the arms or armpit area. Tuck them in, we're moving into our crow. So you wanna grip the mat with your hands. So you have a good grip protecting the wrists. 
Now, you can keep the toes down or take one off at a time or begin to shift both off. Now, when you're ready, come into your yogi squat rather than jumping back, just lower your feet down nice and slow when you're ready. Lower the feet down. Drop the elbows or the forearms to the mat and release. Shift the rear back, use the hands if you need to. Lower down, drop the hips. Send the legs up into your boat posture. You can have the knees bent or straight. Keep the chest lifted. Now, either with the legs straight or bent. If they're bent, you're gonna move out and in like a, an accordion almost. Now, if you're gonna have them straight, you'll lift up like a V. Exhale down, inhale up. Couple more. Last one. Bring the soles of the feet together, lower the hips towards the heels, rock it in to even things out. Now extend the left leg, draw the right leg into the left, square the shoulders, lift, inhale, and exhale, fold head towards your knee. You can hold the mat, the ankle, or around the foot. Inhale, come on up, slide the left foot in. Now extend the right leg. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Hold the mat, the ankle, or around the foot. Keep the spine nice and long. Inhale up, slide both feet in. We'll deepen our bound angle, wobble the hips towards the heels once again. Sit nice and tall, open your feet like a book, and shift forward, pressing the elbows on top of the knees. Shift back, press the feet together, and Lift the feet up, hold here. Sit tall. Now extend the legs long, reach the arms up, inhale, and exhale, seated forward fold. You can always take a strap around the feet if you're tight or keep the knees bent if you need to. Find that comfortable stretch. Inhale up. Slide the hips towards the heels and gently lower down. Take a hold of the ankles with your, with your hands and we're going to roll up into bridge one vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll it down. We'll do a few of those. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll down. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Inhale. And exhale. This last one. Lift up, inhale, interlace the hands, take the shoulder blades together, keep the chin away from the chest, and lift into your bridge. Take the knees wide, and take the knees in. 
Rise up onto the toes and lower down one vertebra at a time. Open the knees, take the hands to the belly, inhale. Exhale through the mouth, inhale. One more time. Hug both knees in towards your forehead and take a little roll. Massage your spine. Nice and gentle. Lower down. Now take your legs, cross your thighs, taking a hold of the outer edge of the shin or ankle or the knife edge of your foot. Coming into our cow face legs in a supine position. Keeping those feet flexed to protect your knees. Stretching and opening our hips here. Relax the shoulders and the neck. Inhale. Now exhale, drop the knees over to the left. Gaze to the right elbow. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop the knees to the right and gaze to the left elbow. Observe the different sensations on each side. Inhale, hug both knees in. Now we're gonna take the left leg Cross it over the right thigh, take the outer edge of the ankle or the foot, flex the feet to protect the knees and draw the knees in towards the chest. Breathe nice and deep here. Inhale, now drop the knees over to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale the knees up to center and exhale the knees over to the left, gaze into the right. Maybe observing any difference in sensations from side to side. Inhale the knees back into center. Hug everything in. And we're gonna take the outer edge of our feet coming into our happy baby. Possibly extending the legs wide into a straddle. Bringing the feet overhead, straightening the knees. And slowly lower the legs down to your mat. Coming into our final resting, Shavasana. Extending the arms and legs gently out to the side. Thanking ourselves for getting on the mat today and completing this sacral chakra yoga practice. Hopefully now you're feeling more balanced. Now allow everything to just let go. Release what no longer serves you Allow your prana to circulate and nourish your body. Inhale, those arms and legs nice and long. 
exhale, roll over to your side, pause. Inhale, coming up to your comfortable seated position. Resting your hands on your lower belly. Let's take a few releasing breaths. Tuning back into our affirmation. I feel creative, balanced, joyful, and passionate about what life will bring. Observe the sensations in your body after completing your practice. Inhale, those arms up overhead. Exhale, the hands to the forehead. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Sending peace to all beings everywhere. Namaste. If you enjoyed this sacral chakra practice, please show your support by subscribing for weekly flows. Give a thumbs up, comment, request, or share with your friends and family, as well as check out twistingfitness.com. I'll see you soon.